Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question reordered power of 2. In this question, we are given a positive integer n and we need to reorder the digits in any order including the original order such that the leading digit is not 0. We need to return true if and only if we can do this in a way such that the resulting number is a power of 2. In the first example, as we can see that number 1 is a power of 2, we return true. In the second example, the number given to us is 10 and any permutation of 10 does not give a number which is a power of 2 and that's why we return false. In the third example, we see that the number is 16 and the number itself is a power of 2 so we directly return true. In the example 4, we have the number 24. It is not a power of 2 and its permutation which is 42 is also not a power of 2 that's why we return false. In the last example, we have 46. 46 is not a power of 2, but 64 is a power of 2 and that's why we return true in this example. The given note with the problem states the constraint that the number n will be in the range of 1 to 10 raised to power 9. So effectively, we need to check that if it is at all possible to have a permutation of this given number which is a power of 2 or not. So we can always find all the permutations of the given number and check which one is a power of 2. If at all that exists, then we return true, otherwise we return false. But that will be high time and space complexity. In order to reduce that, what we need to do is, we need to find all the power of 2. So what we can do here is, as we know there are a limited number of power of 2, till 10 raised to power 9 which is less than 30. So we can check these 30 numbers and their digits with the number given and check if the number matches or not. So we'll directly jump on to the coding part and we'll discuss how we can do that. We need to find what all digits are present in the given number. So we'll have an integer array which will hold the count for n. We'll create a method which will take the value n which will give us the count of digits present in this number. Let's implement this method first. So it will return an integer array. The name will be count and we are providing it a number. We'll take an array which will be of size 10 as there can be only 0 to 9 digits and we loop till this n is greater than 0. We increment the value for the last digit and then reduce this n by removing the last digit. At the end, we simply return this array. Now we have the count of digits present in this number n and now we need to take care of the digits that are present in the power of 2 between 0 to 30. So we'll have a number which we can say as initially 1 and now we loop from 0 to 31. Now for each value we need to check if the two arrays are equal or not. Now the first array will be the count of the digits in the number n and the second will be the count of the power of 2 that we are checking. So that will be num. If the two are equal, that means it is possible to have a permutation which will give us a number which is a power of two so that we can directly return true over here. Otherwise, we increment the num by doubling it every time. If even after this loop, we are not able to find any value, that means the permutation is not possible and we will return false. Now let's try to run this code. So it ran successfully. Let's submit this. So it got submitted successfully. The time complexity is log square n while the space complexity is log n. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one.